Alright, what's up guys? Ancient here, bringing you something a little bit different. I know that I'm in the middle of a Dead Space playthrough, but I decided to do something a little bit different because of the fact that I've been, in, I've been uh, busy in a program that's trying to help me find a job so that I will no longer be the poorest piece of shit in the universe, and... You know, I have an actual reason to leave my house so that I am not going completely insane every day. So yeah, that's been happening. So that's the reason I haven't put up a video in a while. And then in my spare time, I've been playing this because this is a very addictive game. This is the darkest dungeon. I'm sure pretty much everybody knows about this game by now because I'm not exactly the early bird here. It's a fairly old game, but uh, still... Uh, yeah, I am doing a short champion level dungeon in the ruins for reasons. I guess I just simply feel like doing that. I'm probably gonna get my... Just, I'm probably gonna get destroyed, but hey! Let's get this shit started and see what happens. Ugh. Yep, loading screens are boring. I'm gonna be cutting this out. Yeah. Oh god, I did not realize that their stress was this high. I should pay some fucking attention once in a while. Whatever! We're powering through it anyway, because- Oh god, how is the FPS dropping? This is- This game is literally just a bunch of still images. Cannot imagine what's gonna happen during a fight. Uh, here we go. Let's give you some extra damage. Wham! How did you not kill the other one? He had one health left. Continually onslaught. There we go. Destroy them all. And of course my Vestal misses, because why wouldn't she? Ugh. Bulbous Maggot. I don't think I've ever read that name before. I probably should... Probably should have been paying a little bit more attention when I was when I started doing this. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, the lag. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. I really shouldn't be lagging. Oh, hello there, cultist witch. For, I, I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit it. Admit, wow, I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit this, but for some reason it took me a really long time to realize to realize that. These guys, these specific people, were all women. I don't know why, but I never realized that they were women. I all, I thought they were really grotesque-looking men. Like these assholes. But, yeah, those are, in fact, boobs. So they are women. Just for those who didn't know. Like me. I did, in fact, not know. Uh, let's see. Hopefully I can kill you. Nope. Alright. Vesto missed yet again. And my leper is about to... Yep. Stress check. Alright, come on. Come on, leper. Come on. Nah, he's paranoid. And he looks like the mummy. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Uh, of course they do. Oh, shit. Uh, Leper, you don't have maneuvers. All you have is swinging your sword wildly. The slow death. Unforeseen. Wham! Forgiving. And missing miserably. He's gonna die anyway. Hope what?! Clarified in a single strike. Jesus! Resolve test again, yes. I realize that I entered the dungeon with a fairly high stress level, but... I mean, I mean, wow. And a tempting goblet. At least he didn't go for someone who already had high stress. Wham! I don't know why I did that. I should have probably gone after someone who mattered. But it does, whatever. Okay, then, alright. Go ahead and miss, Hound Master. Because why not? Wham. There we go. 
Wow, that was irritating. That was a lot more... So clearly in view. Just... Or is it merely that was way contract? harder than it, mu it should have been. Oh my god. Nobody's behind you, so nobody can be pushing you, you freak. But yeah, as you can see, there is indeed a stress meter in this game. Where it works a little bit like the insanity meter in, uh... I was gonna say the insanity meter in Endless Darkness, but no. Not quite. It, it works a little bit like XCOM in the way that... Once they start freaking out, they start doing some stupid shit. Like, for example... They may just pass a turn. Or they may attack just randomly just attack a random person for no apparent reason they may uh move backwards in the line like for example this leper is a tank he can if if uh well yeah he's paranoid so if he decides that uh these guys are working against him which he has repeatedly he can just kind of push my hound master out in front and he can easily get murdered or even my plague doctor out in front that, that's happened before as well. Oh god. And what you saw in action there was a thing called... What's it called? Curious, I think it's called. As you can see here, he has a bunch of negative quirks here. One of them is compulsive, that's what it is. He suffers a compulsion to do specific actions, which basically just means that if any curios pop up that he can interact with, he's going to automatically interact with them and potentially fuck you. Like, for example, he could activate a trap, and thus kill himself, and probably two other people. Okay, good. It's nothing difficult. And I got the drop on them, so... Yeah. Wham! And, of course, Leper, you missed them both! Ugh, stun him. Oh my god. Wham. And that did not do as much damage I ha as I had anticipated that it would. I had hoped it would do a little bit more damage. Alright, I'll just buff your damage real quick. And... a web. Okay then. Really? Incre- yeah, that's right. WHAT?! Why can't you hit anything? And why does this Plague Doctor have an accuracy of 5? Oh, right, Plague Doctors don't have accuracy, that's why. Ah. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yeah! Just eat all the food. Eat the food, so I can get some money. I don't know why my FPS keeps dropping down to 30, it's annoying. The match is oh god, a bone general! Star is born. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. They have so much health too. I'll just mark him real quick. Um... Wham! Nope, alright, resist the stun. I'll go ahead and do this. Oh, he's at 158 stress. I really hope that he doesn't get to 200. Basically, uh, basically the stress meter is the more bad shit the party goes through, the more stress they get. Like, you, could, you can see right there, this asshole's paranoid, which means that he's gonna say some paranoid shit. Like, hey, you're all working against me or something, which is going to give one of the other party members, or all of them, potentially, Extra stress, which means they get closer to a stress check, which means they potentially also get afflicted by one of these bad things like masochism, or selfishness, or hopelessness, or something along those lines. Ah! Damn it. Ah! Oh my god. Please don't die. I really... 
I don't want anybody in this party to die. That would be really bad for me. And of course, he dodged every single... How? How does this... I'm just... This is not going my way. This is really just not working out for me. Injury and despondence set the stage for... Ah! Uh. Poor cowardice. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Mm. Okay, you are both gonna die, so I'll go for that. And, of course... What? Okay, good. I don't know why I did that. That was worthless. They're gonna die no matter what. There must be more of them. Stay watchful. Are you kidding me? Ah, heal yourself. Douchebag. Oh, uh, no, no, no! Oh, my God. At the very precipice of oblivion. I forgot that he was at death's door. And masochistic. Yay! Everybody in this part is gonna be afflicted. A death by inches. Oh my god. This is not going well. The weapon that cuts on its own. Wham! Five damage. Okay then, well, I mean I have the I have the AoE attack rather than the single target attack that does ridiculous amounts of damage so i guess it's understandable wow that was a lot of damage uh i'll mark you real quick and okay i thought he resisted the mark i didn't even know i'm pretty sure it's not possible to resist whoa marks oh burping i burp in every single one of my videos i don't know why so Oh my god, this is such a bad... And he's hopeless. Magnificent. Now, no now it's a party. Everybody's afflicted. And he got... He didn't accept the heal. Great. Oh god, please don't die. Oh, he dodged it. Wow. That was lucky. Oh! Wow. Cross paths with the panther and beware. Panther? You don't look anything like a panther. And then you proceeded to use the one ability that you have that doesn't do anything. Uh. Yes. As you can see, you can also find... As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I was gonna say, as you can see, you can also find chests and stuff when my leper proceeded to have a heart attack. That's what happens when you get to 200 stress. They have a heart attack and put themselves on death's door, which is the death mechanic in this game. Rather than just outright dying, you get put into a, sta a state called death's door, which is, uh, well, here it says heart attack recovery, but really it's the same thing. Where you're at zero health, and then you get, when you're on death's door, you in fact, oh my god. Yeah, as you can see here. The next, the next blow could potentially kill him. I wonder how much death... Uh, whatever. You, you start out with, I think, 67% death blow resistance, which means that there is a 33% chance... No, 32. Is it 30? I don't know, but there's a 30% upwards chance to... Uh, for him to die, and then just a chance for him to... for nothing to happen to him. Oh my god. I am so happy that there was nothing to attack me there. I really hope I can explore 90% of these rooms without encountering anything. Because the next... Oh my god, it's a collector! This is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Just... I made a bad life choice. I decided to... Just continue. Just for the sake of this video. And it, it has gloriously bitten in, bitten me in the ass right now. Both of these guys are screwed, and I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna die. Retreat from combat. Okay, yes. Please don't die. 
Oh, he put, he's put on death's door. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna abandon this quest, which you can in fact do, and you're going to be doing this a lot if you're playing this game, because... Well, yeah. You're gonna die. A lot. It's a very difficult game. Very rewarding, it's very fun to play, but... Basically, this puts Dark Souls to shame. Like, Dark Souls is easy compared to this. It's a cakewalk compared to this. You what is it with matter. games and the name Dark like that makes them really difficult? You are a part of this place. But, yes, I don't quite know the entire story. All I really know is that the, the, pers the protagonist, the person that you're playing as, is the descendant of the person time, who runs, the well, who owned failings. the darkest manor i believe it's called yes the darkest estate they owned the this estate here and beneath that they began to excavate a system of caves i believe it was a system of caves or maybe it's just a bunch of dungeons i don't know probably dungeons considering the name is darkest dungeon and within this dungeon they found a portal of some sort to a fantastic domain as it is called and as they d opened that portal it kind of let loose basically hell and uh yes apparently this ancestor has done a lot of questionable things such as uh let's see what has well i don't know but basically from what i understand Everything happening here is because of the Ancestor. And we don't know where the Ancestor is right now. I believe he's dead. He's probably dead, to be honest. Cons all things considered. And in the way that... Uh, with the way that the narrator speaks, it sounds like he's dead. But regardless... Something bad happened. Anyway, back to the game itself. Now that I'm back in town, you can see my characters have a lot of stress. And, okay, so this guy can't be placed here. There are numerous different stress-relieving activities they can do. For example, I can set them in- I can put them in the bar so that they can drink away their problems and just drown them. I can send them to the gambling hall where they can just- Yes. Precisely. I care not as long as there's fortune to be made. They can just gamble away their problems. And all of my money. And they can go to the brothel, which I, I don't have to tell you what, what goes on in a brothel. And on top of that, they also have these stat manipulators called quirks. As you can see, there are positive quirks, plus 15% damage in Cove, which is one of the areas, which, which is like... Uh, an underwater place with eldritch horrors like fishmen, uh, there are drowned thralls, there are... Well, yeah, fishmen. And fish people. And just a lot of death. And, uh, there's also the... What else is there, anyway? There's the weld, or weald, or whatever, which is basically just a forest full of beast people. And, like, giants... And brigands and bandits and just generally people who want to fucking kill you. There are hags and so forth. There's the Warrens, which is like, I believe, just an uh, underground um, disposal facility kind of thing. Because that, I guess that's where they all put all the, like, the trash and shit. And that is, in fact, where the beast people, the like, the beast, uh races are like the pigs uh, the what else are there i don't know i haven't been much in the in this pl in the warrens as you can see it is, it is level six but i haven't been there in a while there's only all i know is that there's a swine god i need to kill and then there's the ruins which is where the necromancers took up residence and where the prophets also took up residence. I don't really know the entire story behind the prophets, but basically the necromancers just kind of they raise dead. I suppose that's that that's the best way I can put that without spoiling too much. 
And yeah. Mm. I don't I've it's been a while since I made a video, so I don't really know how to really do anything right now, but uh I'm going to end this video here. Maybe late, at a later date I will show you a boss. Perhaps once I can actually get to the Gibbering Prophet I'll show you him. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this very pointless and short video. Uh, please comment, comment with feedback and you're probably bored out of your mind because I'm tired and I don't really know. I'm not really comfortable with making these videos as of yet. So I can't really do it properly but we'll see in the future. Um, Please comment with feedback, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Signing off. I mean, ancient, whatever.